Hi right, guys, welcome back to this old meat shop. I've been kind of busy, so I got this framed up. And really the only thing I still got to do is glue this laminate right here back down. And I've got my top cut. I'm going to bring it in here where I can glue it. I've still got to cut these off. I've got these on. These right here is what I'll be screwing up through to connect the top. And I may end up having to do another one somewhere, but I really didn't want to mess with nothing in this area right here in case I ever had to get this water heater out. It wouldn't be nothing to take this leg loose once I got the countertop slid out of the way. Yep, my plywood down through here. And that's just to kind of keep it closed in. Still got to, I had to cut out that corner down there, so... The vermin can still get in pretty easily, but try to keep the dust out anyway as much as possible. And what I've been doing on the outside is I've added this two before to bring it flush with the face. And I'm going to add another one here when I get this finished. And so then I'm going to cover the entire front with plywood. And I'm going to cut out these holes for doors. So we we'll have a door here and a door there. And or maybe, maybe be t two doors there. I don't know yet. But anyway, we'll get this counter, uh, this plywood in here, make sure it's gonna fit. I had some issues with the, with the laminate. I uh, trying to get it on the truck, did crack it, but hopefully it's enough, uh, uh, gonna be enough waste that it ain't gonna hurt nothing. And I got some two by twos instead of coming out with a with a whole two by four. I'm just going to go two by two for the edge because this counter is already plenty wide enough. It's 36 inches across here now, uh, and that's including the two by two. So that'll be plenty big. All right, guys, get in here and get this uh, plywood on here. Well, guys, got the uh, plywood cut, and uh, looking more like a bench now. I did run into a couple of issues right here. I've got to, I've got to cut this off a little more, and that side too, because this side was pretty tight, and uh, it won't work with the laminate on top of it. So. Uh, Basically what this is, three quarter inch AC plywood, got the ace on top. And uh, I didn't, I was gonna get a piece of plywood to go across the front, but I got a piece, but I realized I'm gonna have to use that up here on the ceiling. So I don't got, I may have to piece together. I got a couple of pieces that I might be able to piece together. And uh, Anyway, went out and got my Craftsman uh, multi-tool to uh, cut this with. And, uh, I hadn't really used this thing in so long. But, uh, right now it's got a sander attachment on it. And I need my cutting attachment. If I can find it. vacuum out of it. Yeah. This is just other stuff here. So, yeah. yeah, that's it right there. It's got the serrated end on it. So I'm going to get this thing changed out. It's like just an Allen head holding it on. And I'll show you how this thing works. Alright guys, so basically Thing where you need to get you something to lay it on. Uh, I ain't sure that's going to be wide enough. Uh, 
Okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lay it up here. And I'm That off, this is pretty, pretty easy. Please Let's get the thing out of there. There it goes. Now, that plenty of room out of there. It's gonna cut it based on the thickness of whatever material you let in here. So, if you're gonna put tile on this, then you'd want a tile, put your tile up there, then go ahead and cut it. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this one right here. These are handy, especially if you're putting in uh, uh, flooring uh, and you got to cut your door jams. That's what you need. So I just got a white laminate, just like what was on here before. And uh, I couldn't believe the cost of that stuff. That stuff's like $42 a sheet for the white. This plywood, plywood was $42 a sheet, so I basically have $84 in this top. Well, that ain't counting the two by two, which really wasn't that expensive no way. So. Really counting that, but say about 85, 86 bucks in the top of this thing. So, anyway, guys, I'm gonna go over here and get this mess cleaned up and left get, get, get all the sawdust off here. So, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide this table away from the walls. I'm gonna get ready to put the uh, I gotta, I gotta cut this one right here a little more, too. It's it's a little too close, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off and uh, yeah, get this plywood back away from the wall before I put that laminate on there. So stay tuned for more. All right, guys, I forgot to mention I gotta put this two by two on here. It's gonna go right on the edge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drill in some pilot holes because I don't want to risk splitting this wood. I'm gonna just put it on the side. Just put one about every foot or so. Thank you. 
really can use an extra set of hands. Before I get started, I'm going to get my roof head out. I'm going to get it in. What I'm using here is two inch screws. It's going to give me good depth. If you can tell. Good depth, but it, it shouldn't go all the way through this board. I'm going to go ahead and run through all of it because that edge not A little bit short on that end, but that really ain't gonna make a big difference. We have a little bit of glue. I'm just gonna let this glue dry. I'm not gonna get to the countertop today. I'm gonna go ahead and get this and put on. Let everything dry overnight. Come back and we'll sand it good. And uh, so now I just got to cut this one. Fortunately, I only got one two by two, but I've, had, I've got a bunch of uh, two by two. That were pickets. Uh, they got they've got rounded edges on them, but I'm gonna have to use it because that's the only thing I got handy with me. So I'm gonna get it up here, mark it, go cut it, and we're gonna do the same thing down through there, and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, guys, got this piece on, and I did run into a little bit of issues on this end, wanting to kind of split on me. But I think I'll just take a, a good sand and sand it down, sand it smooth. Of course, I'm going to sand all this much. I've even got a, uh, a, a power planer. I could run down through there if I wanted to. But I think just a good smooth sanding will get this cleaned up. And basically all this is doing is just making that table look thicker just for looks. It does kind of help strengthen the edge, but mostly it's just 
makes it look uh, like a thick table. And when you get the banding on it, it'll look a lot better than it does right now. So, anyway, guys, until tomorrow.